There is nothing that God wants more than to do life with you. But not only does God want to go to the grocery store with you, help you pick out your groceries, raise your kids, decorate your house, clean your house, get it all done. He knows the best ways to do it all. But it is important when doing life with God to carve out a place and a space to just be with Him and learn how to hear His voice. When you learn and you practice and you develop that hearing His voice here, then it's so much easier to know what grocery store to go to, to know what to buy, to know what to say to your kids, to know what to say to your husband, to know what to do because you're already practicing hearing that still small voice that comes up as a thought from your heart, not down from your head. You're learning to identify his voice. And so maybe you're wondering, okay, I carve out this place in a space to spend time with God. Now what? Do we just sit there? What's supposed to happen? This is an easy way to start engaging with the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of you if you've made Jesus your Lord. And that is through journaling. It's just like normal journaling, except with God. So I like to start off with dear God or, or Father God or however, you know, you're talking, as long as you're talking to Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, that's what you need to do. And I love to start with this sometimes, especially if I'm just needing a hug or some extra love. Dear God, will you tell me about your love for me? This is such an easy um, prompt in a sense, but honestly, it's one of God's favorite questions to answer. And when I spend that time, I'll get a picture or I'll get some words and I'll just start writing what I hear here. It doesn't matter how silly it is. A lot of times it's, I love you like the depths of the ocean. More than the drops of the sea are my thoughts of you. And I'll just write it out. I'm writing my own love letter from the Lord. And oh, how it just blesses and ministers to my heart. But I'm just writing it out. And then I judge his words to my heart through his word here. Because this is where you're going to learn who God is, is right here. And then he starts making it personal. You know, if you're sitting down and you hear uh, really nothing because you're a loser, well, you can know, have confidence, that is not the voice of God because that doesn't line up with his thoughts of you here at all. Matter of fact, who it does line up with is Satan. And we learn about him and his personality and how he feels about us in this book as well. And what to do with those thoughts. Shut up, devil, in the name of Jesus. I am beautifully and wonderfully and fearfully made. I am God's delight. You can answer those kind of thoughts of, of insecurity or self-loathing with the word of God. So you do laugh with God in your private time, in your time with just you and him with this right here and use this right here. And then you have a whole catalog of your conversations. You can talk about your thoughts and your feelings and, and what's going on and the, the things that you need to see him in. But as you learn to hear his voice here and here, here, then it's so much easier when you're out there to know what grocery store to go to, what road to take, how to raise your kids, what to say to your husband. You will are developing the ability to hear him. But just simple, God loves to talk to you. He loves to fellowship with us. Matter of fact, Jesus says in John 16, verse 7, he says, but I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, the comforter, the advocate, the intercessor, the counselor, the strengthener, the standby will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him the Holy Spirit to you to be in close fellowship with you. This is how Jesus is a friend that sticks closer than a brother, you know, because he gets to move in his spirit right in here. It's how we have access to the mind of Christ because his mind is in us. His heart is is in us. His feelings about us are in us. His authority is in us. So what do you do with your time that you've carved out with God? Well, an easy way 
get your Bible, get your journal, and do it with God. By clicking subscribe, you help more people find how to do life with God.